What's up guys, Bovine Gaming here with another lifting video. Oh, uh, that was my upper day. Um, I would say upper day one. Upper day. Lower day, I'm sorry. Uh, that would be my lower day one. If I had a lower day one. I don't. Anyways, um, that is my lower day. It consists of a 4x5 of squats at 80... 85% um, squats are one of my top three and my favorite movements. Um, I just like them. Uh, I'm a leg day loving menace. Um, but it used to be five sets of five. So I bumped it down by one set and I've noticed my um, leg progress uh, skyrocket as I've put... Let me... About 30, 25, 30 pounds on my squat sets from doing that, from uh, taking down volume and going on frequency. Mm, had to crack my back. Um, four sets of five on squats, as I stated. Uh, four sets of six to nine reps for seated hamstring curls. Uh, supersetted with leg extensions, um, four sets of eight to ten. Uh, that particular machine, the stack, only goes up to 145. Uh, for the hamstring curls, I was using 85 pounds, and the did I say the leg curls and the leg extensions, I was using 115 pounds. I said leg curls twice, but my my brain's foggy. I uh, just got done with legs. Um, then I did some RDLs. Um, I used to be able to do about 150-something with RDLs, but I stopped doing them for a while, and now, um, I gotta, kinda gotta build back, but hey, it happens. Um, I would've shown you some calves and abductors, but I had to leave, and crazy thing is, is that my, uh, I actually have an excuse to skip calves. Uh, my left one, my left calf was a bit sore this morning, and it would... Kind of, I would kind of feel it when I would extend it. In fact, I still do. But, eh. I'll hit them next video. Uh, as to this 
videos post workout recovery. Um, I don't have it with me because it's the exact same thing I showed you last time, except I'm eating um, some rice cakes that I have as a bit of a recarb load, which goes into my topic for today. Um, the classic, uh, you can't out train a bad diet if you're working out trying to, I guess, whatever your goals are. Let's just say, in my case, what it was, um, you're trying, you're working out to try to lose weight, and you're still eating 4,000 calories a day. That's not going to work. Unless you're in the gym for eight hours, like you're in there for a full eight to five, doing nothing but like um, on the treadmill, mm, you're, you can't you can't do it. I tried, didn't work. Um, another thing is the thing where people say you need to get protein in thirty minutes after your workout. Yeah, that's a myth. Um, your body processes protein. For muscles the same way if it does if you have it 30 minutes or three hours um, another thing is to eat some carbs before you well before and after uh, my pre-workout um, meal is just a cereal bar and some optimum nutrition pre-workout I wish I brought it up with me to show you guys but it optimum nutrition is just cheap and effective. Um, it's not, I think, cheaply made, unlike the other things, but it's enough for me, it's cheap enough for me to afford and pretty good quality. Um, as for what you eat, um, to uh, get your goals you're going to want to get enough protein, normally around 0 0.8 to 1.2 grams of body or goal weight. Um, if you're 300 pounds trying to go down to, say, 180, you don't need 300 grams of protein a day. You just need about like 180 to 200. And if you're going, uh, that's pretty much it. And if you're going to um, from 150 to 160, like me, um, well, not 150 to 160, I'm sorry, 160 to 168, uh, about 168, 170 grams, 170 grams of protein. Um, uh, you can have more, um, the benefits is, mm, lackluster, I don't know if that's the right word or not, but you you might see some added progress if you eat more, but... It's not going to be much. Um, another thing is for my inspirational thing for the day, because I thought of it as well, um, kind of panning off what it was for last video. Um, as what I said last video, the people around you uh, make you to who you are. But even if you're around some good people, uh, as friends do, they're gonna, you know, throw out a little minor insult here and there. And some days you can dish it back even worse. But some days you have those moments where you you don't feel like it. You're down in the dumps, you can say. You're uh in on the um you're in the basement of the dumpster and the uh at the back of the IHOP in the slums. Uh, you're just in in your feels, and even though what they say, uh, they might be joking. Uh, you might not take it that way, and to have that happen from somebody that is a close friend to you, uh, I'm not taking this from personal experience. I'm just saying from other people. Um, it can hit a little close to home. So don't let the people around you uh, bring you down because the people that try to do that try to bring you down to stoop you down to their level because they see you as better than them. 
and they'll try to criticize and find every little thing that's wrong and critique it and criticize it to make you feel bad about the accomplishments that you made. Um, so you want to be around people that will uplift you and, you know, still call you trash at Fortnite or something. Um, I think that's going to do it for this video. Uh, I appreciate you guys for stopping by and watching. Um, that I think that'll do it. Uh, have a good rest of your day, evening, lunch, dinner, breakfast. Uh, yeah, this is Bovine Gaming signing out.